War 7 of Season 51, and GT is facing Bolt. I said that I was done with voiceovers, and I am, but I wanted to voice this one over because, well, I die in this war, um, and also play pretty terribly, kind of just generally throughout, and I wanted to explain why, instead of just showing you text while I'm getting my face beat on camera. So, um, yeah, no Section 1 today. Section 2, I have a Hulkling versus Arcade. Y'all have seen me take this fight before. I don't know if I've ever taken it while voicing it over, um, so I will do a detailed breakdown of it, and if y'all already know the deal, then sorry. So I have Suicide Masteries on, I have my Power Back Boosts, and I have a PS1, which means that I am just going to build up my um, Pierce and my Unblockable Charges into his block when he has the Auto Block uh, phase up. And then after that, I'm just going to build up to my Special 2. So here it goes kind of badly because I missed that parry. If I don't miss that parry, it's probably fine. Um, but here, I do a bunch of lights. That third light also was just generally risky. And so I decide I'm just going to risk it into Evade. Um, and that does not work because he has Steadfast. Well, it, it doesn't work because he evaded, and it didn't save me because he had Steadfast. Um, I knew about the Steadfast. I was just hoping he wouldn't evade, and unfortunately he did evade. And here I'm like, all right, let me just slow down and just do the same thing as normal. Bait the special one out. I do know how to dex it. Um, and also avoid the poison cloud, thanks to my goat, I'm Bao. So uh, shout out to him. Absolute legend. Uh, here we go. So he is in that evade phase, and he's also unblockable, which is, like, unfortunate. So I do tap, tap his block once. If he had evaded oopsies anyway there i tap it again i probably should not have done that there but combo through into special two and he goes down so not really that good just generally one mistake kind of pushed me out of my cycle and then i did not uh do well after that okay then i have a dust on path four using kushala pretty straightforward fight um as of late i have not been doing that well against it but uh pretty straightforward okay so we start with a parry but uh, it's fine, didn't really land, that's okay. All right, here we go. Then I parry, and I thought I parried, but you can see I clearly did not, um, which means that if I try to heavy, hypothetically, yeah, oopsies. And then also miss another parry. I mean, I showed you the slow-mo, like it looked kind of like I was blocking, but hey, also I get the worst ignition RNG known to man, and now there's an unblockable special too, and I need to dex this, otherwise I'm probably just gonna die. So I go for it, Hoping to get at least two, and I actually get all three, um, which is awesome. So very, very clutch decks. And then I'm kind of just like, oh crap, she is unblockable. So I'm doing dash backs a little bit frantically. Um, and instead of dashing in like a normal person, she uh, decides to be the worst and just walk up to me. And if, if someone walks up to you and you're in the corner and they're unblockable, it's very hard to, to not get hit. So here, my game plan is simple. I'm going to drop off that power sting. And then I'm going to drop my special 3, which is going to give me my blessings back. Okay, drop this. Even if she gets the special 2, it's really not that big of a deal because I can block unblockables again. Um, so that's kind of the, the theory here. I am still pretty low, and I'm still very, very capable of dying to this fight. Um, wouldn't say I'm in a good position, per se. So yeah, we're going to get that parry off, another parry off, just trying to make sure my blessings stay up. I could parry this first hit, but I was trying to be a little bit extra safe. And uh, here, I'm just going to parry, remove that power sting, drop this special two, and finally we get a good special two with a bunch of ignitions on. Okay, do I parry this? I believe I do, yes. So again, just trying to upkeep that. And she probably will end up dropping into Sandstorm. Yep, I parry, and then she does go into Sandstorm. I am ticking, but it's not that big of a deal. Again, I want to avoid that power sting or bad stuff will happen. Drop that special two, and she dies. So, <laughs> I mean, I don't even know what to say. Uh, just a generally terrible fight. Really, really happy that I clutched it out with that special two decks. Otherwise, I would very much be dead. Um, so yeah, we we do love that. <laughs> and then we're on to, we have two more fights. So the first one is Shocker versus Onslaught. And game plan is same as always. I do have a PS1 on. Honestly, probably a little bit too much power. Um, but the game plan is basically just this. I'm going to combo. Okay, sweet. And then at this point... I'm gonna get too much power if I push him to, uh, if I try to cancel his crush. So I'm gonna special one early, and then I'm gonna combo in a special one, and that will remove his crush uh, for the time being. So that that's the game plan here with the PS1. Is that the right game plan? I don't know. Not sure. I should not have da dashed back there. That was just generally a mistake. But anyways, as you can see, I combo here, drop the special one, and that crush is gone. Sweet. At this point, that's probably enough charges uh, to special two and heavy. Okay. Here we go. Straightforward. Here I make a mistake, 
um, and hit to his block with the unblockable, but that's fine. Okay, here he's gonna crush me, that's okay. Just going to dex this, okay. He's being very, very nice with the specials. Like, genuinely, I think the best I've ever seen him um, with special attacks. So I do really, really appreciate that. Not, not taking that for granted at all. And here, I'm just, again, playing around the crush. This will give me the crush, it's fine. I'm just gonna bait this out. And then the second I can get an opening, I'll drop my special two into heavy. Okay, get an opening one of these days. Finally dashes at me, some really interesting AI uh, there. But heavy, I'm gonna go ahead and medium in. A little bit of a pause there, not really sure why, but obviously I do have a fair bit of margin for error with the stun timer. And uh, yeah, that heavy one taps. So, easy fight, I have one more. You'll also notice that at the beginning of the war, I said I would die. Um, so, <laughs> one guess as to where that is. Uh, the, the greatest defending champion ever, that's a joke. Um, but what's not a joke is that he's the greatest design champion ever. Perfect with no flaws. Um, and if you play well, you'll always solo regardless. So I do have Mr. Fantastic pre-fights. Shout out to uh, 5J for that. And I'm going to be using Kushala. And I actually have a bad game plan here. My game plan is the same as all my other game plans with Kushala versus Serpent. I mean, y'all have seen me do it. It's heavies a bunch. Just basically just you spam heavy attacks and then you spam special twos, right? Like you've seen me do it on Path 9 probably 15 times. Um... And I get some of my lights in, and look at that. Let's just, let's just go back here. Um, I go for a dash back, which you have to do, basically. And he punishes me. And so now my invul's gone, basically. I do have one more hit, which is nice. Um, but that's that's a really bad omen, and, and it's, it's not a good start. So here we go. Finally do get one intercept off, getting a few ignition debuffs up. Or ignition buffs, sorry. Get that special two out of him. Okay, fight's under control. I just need to calm down and nuke him. Um... And as, as I was saying before I so rudely got hit in the face, um, I've always just special two spammed. And that's what I was told to do. Um, and it's what I did. And apparently that is not the strategy for this fight. And I did not know and I did not ask. Um, the correct strategy would be to special two once for the, uh, the soul barb and then special one spam with the soul barb feeding those incinerates. That's the correct one. And also again, I'm not gonna bother trying to parry these. It's not worth it. Um, but apparently that is the correct way to do it, and uh, I did not know that. And so you're going to see quickly what happens when you don't nullify those power gains. Uh, and what happens is his power gain goes absolutely berserk out of control. Like, look at that power. That's ridiculous. So I have to drop the special. I, I just, otherwise I'm going to lose my cycle. So I had to drop it. Even if I had all three invul charges, I'm going to tank three back-to-back. -back. Um, well, four back-to-back, -back, actually. Uh, and at this point I'm dead. But to add insult to injury, he drops the special one immediately into my face. Um, and I dash back on instinct because who doesn't dash back out of a special three? So here, I'm just going to slow down. Okay. Try to do a combo into striker, into combo. And then hopefully, maybe I can drop the special one and it'll nullify it if he can die in time, if I can slow combo. But he, he gets to that and he kills me. So, um, yeah. Yeah. Did I, pay did I play badly in this fight? 100% did not play well at all. Um, given my game plan, I still think it was almost impossible to solo. Definitely soloable, but, but very, very, very difficult. He just has way too much power. Um, but what I should have done I sh is I should have special tood and then spam the special one for the incinerates, but most importantly to nullify the power gain as immediately as possible. So I'm going to go back in here and just finish this asshole off. Um, yeah, parry that, and believe it or not, bro still finds a way from, what is it, 3% health, 6%, to go all the way back up to special 3? Like, are you for real? Um, so I drop that, and he goes back up to special 3. And uh, I do still have my invul on, so shout out to that. Um, and he is gonna die, but, yeah, just a, just a generally terrible war for me, played very badly, and also just really frustrating to die to it such a stupid interaction and champion interaction just being how he is as a champion um, but anyways i'll see you later peace